This is Dr. Roman Velasquez with Access to Brain Based Leadership. Today I want to give you four, three access points on how to become a good leadership coach using brain science. So stay tuned. Welcome back. So let's talk a little bit about the utility player concept. We get that from baseball. Utility players in baseball are used by coaches very successfully. Why? Because they are very good at playing various positions on the ball field. This is very important for the coach and for the team. You see, one of the things about being a utility player is that they're not expert in one position, one task, one function. They're expert at being something very effective, and that's being utility. That's versatile, being adaptive. And leadership and running a business within organizations, being a utility player is very important. But you got to know how the brain works first because the brain is a utility brain. The brain is a muscle, much like all our other muscles in our body. You have to work them out, right? So same with the brain. Brain, you gotta work it out. How do you work out the brain? Well, by learning new things. The brain loves novelty. It likes niche, new, new experiences. That's how you make neural connections. The brain is extremely, extremely complex, but I will tell you that to make it a utility brain, you've got to learn new things every day and learning new positions, new tasks, new process, new procedures makes your brain a very effective utility brain. Let me give you three key points for leadership coaching. Number one, collaborate in diverse environments. You've got to be a good collaborative individual in diverse settings. And I'm not talking about just skin, race, gender, age. No, I'm talking about one of the most important things, diversity in thought. We are all different. Our minds and brains are different. So you gotta honor that differentiation and use that diversity of thought process as a competitive advantage. Point number two, you gotta get out of your comfort zone. Your brain is primarily designed to make you survive. It doesn't take five seconds for the brain to make you realize that you're trying to do something different. That's what Mel Robbins says. No, it takes a lot less. I call it get on your mark, get set, go. And don't allow your brain to try to convince you to stay in your comfort zone. That's what the brain does. So you need to get out of your comfort zone. Try new things, new experience, different things. Hang out and talk to people that think differently from and see reality differently from what you do. Point number three, you gotta build new habits. That's how the brain likes the novelty and new things. Breaking bad habits is very important, but how do you build new habits? Well, there's three steps, right? You gotta recognize for a cue, something that's gonna happen. You gotta get some behavior. The patterns that you do on that behavior, on that new behavior, is gonna be what's gonna drive that towards a reward. You gotta think and feel that reward. What am I gonna do about? What am I gonna do and gain from doing this new behavior and creating this new habit? That's the way you elevate your gain. In summary, Again, your brain is a utility brain. Be a utility player. Be a utility leader. Number two, push yourself to new experiences. Widen your perspective. That's what leadership is. And I will tell you, leadership is not a position. Leadership is a service to be given. And leadership is about action. This is Dr. Roman Velasquez, and this is Access to Brain-Based Leadership. Ha <laughs>